This may look like old newsreel footage of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., but actually it's the actor Enoch King, no relation, playing Dr. King on stage at the Black Room. Not now when we have come so far and sacrificed so much. King the actor portrays King the activist in a new play about the rough and tumble fight for voting rights in the Deep South in the mid 60s. It was a bloody battle remembered today simply by the name of the place where it happened. Selma. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Borrowing from the lyrics of that civil rights anthem, the play is called Hold On. This is our moment. It is the first show of the 2024 season at the Black Rep, and the first time it has been performed anywhere. This is the 24th world premiere for the Black Rep. Mr. President, this telling of the story is framed through the tumultuous tug of war between Dr. King and President Johnson, who had similar agendas but different timetables. What I tell people a lot when I'm trying to give them the shorthand of what the play is, I tell them basically, if you know the film Selma, this is it on stage. And that's largely because the man who wrote the play also wrote the movie. His name is Paul Webb, and he is neither black nor American. Webb became aware of what happened in Selma while doing research for an early draft of the screenplay for Steven Spielberg's film Lincoln. I thought, wow, why has no one written about this? And at the time, in fact, I mean, still maybe, it's one of those kind of mysteries, really. You seen this list? Before the reckoning in Selma, blacks who tried registering to vote in the Deep South had to first correctly answer absurd and irrelevant questions. How many bubbles in the average soap bar? Application denied. You may go. What happened in Selma in March of 1965 began after an Alabama state trooper killed an unarmed civil rights protester named Jimmy Lee Jackson. To protest Jackson's killing, activists set out to march from Selma to Montgomery, but were brutally attacked by troopers and a sheriff's posse as they crossed out of Selma on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. We are interrupting our Saturday night theater feature. That night, when network television showed footage of the brutality, it stirred the moral conscience of the nation. March 7th, 1965, would become known as Bloody Sunday. It is too soon to go back asking for more civil rights. The Senate isn't ready, and what's more, the country isn't ready. And I have to try and make them ready. In the play, I think that it really is Dr. King's story. And I think that as we look at history as it moves, it really tells that story in an epic fashion. Come on, Rob, then let's go to Selma. No wonder Washington's heard of Selma. In terms of the historical events that take place, I've learned how strategic everything was, even if it seemed like it was kind of just galvanized by passion. There is no Negro problem. There is no Southern problem. There is no Northern problem. There is only an American, an American problem. problem. We are met here today as Americans, not Democrats or Republicans. We are met here as Americans to solve this problem. In this play, history literally repeats itself. And in some ways, so has real life. It is all of us. When Paul Webb wrote the first draft of the play in 2005, the question of voting rights in America was thought to be settled law. But that has not turned out to be the case, perhaps making Hold On more timely than it was ever meant to be. That's what this play says to me. We, we're working for something that's really important as we're living in a society that is dealing with the, the avalanche of negative results of watching voting rights get dismantled. In looking at how far we've come, you can also see how much work we still have to do. 
And I think that that will be the takeaway from this, the struggle during the civil rights era, the sacrifices that were made, the gains that were made, all being attacked again now. And so we really have to be vigilant and to be careful or else we are on the verge really of looking like we could repeat that history.